Hello YouTube, this is John, and welcome to my channel, CryptoPigs. Today I'm going to be doing my PTMG analysis on Substratum. So Substratum, this coin just finished their ICO maybe about a month and a half ago. <clears throat> it's actually, this price has been going crazy. I was just looking at it earlier today at like 11 cents, already at 14 cents. Super exciting. Now let's let's jump into our analysis. So what is PTMG? It's the project idea, the problems they solve, the potential for generating revenue, their team, the marketing, the market cap, and the short slash long-term goals of the project. And as I said earlier, our analysis is on Substratum. Substratum's project idea. They are developing an open source foundation for the decentralized web, providing free and unrestricted access to content for a new, quote, web 3.0. The Substratum network is a worldwide collection of nodes that uses industry leading cryptography to deliver secure content anywhere, all without the need for VPNs. They want to revolutionize the hosting industry with per request billing via microtransactions, all handled by blockchain technology and artificial intelligence. So what problems are they trying to solve? Substratum states in their white paper that the problems they're trying to solve are the following, serving up a decentralized content, incentivizing users to serve the content, privacy, security, and encryption, storage and serving of content, DNS, which is domain name systems, development tools for the decentralized web, net neutrality, international digital barriers, and high hosting costs. Now I'll go over each of these next. So, and again, in their white paper, they they plan to serve Substratum requests directly to the default browsers, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Internet Explorer, without any special software installed on the average consumer user computer. So ease of use, that seems to be a big thing that they're trying to incorporate in their whole entire network. So first, serving up decentralized content. Through a toolkit they have developed, Substratum service will be easy to install and run and serves up decentralized content. Next, they're gonna be incentivizing users to serve the content. Their coin is issued to serve to the serving machines through microtransactions from the hosting site to the serving computer. Privacy, security, and encryption through advanced cryptography algorithms rooted in AI that ensures all data remains secure. For storage and serving of content, the network employs custom developed advanced compression algorithms and machine learning to geolocate the right substratum network machine to serve up the content to the appropriate user based on geolocation, ensuring the fastest load time and lowest latency. This one kind of reminds me of AWS. Basically, wherever you are located, you will feed off of that part of the network. That way you are you are the as close as possible and able to again lower your latency next is the dns or domain name system a little explanation of what that is in case you didn't know it tells your browser where to go when you type in a domain name so they have an ai enabled dns server that will receive the dns request along with the geolocation of the requester and find based off that information, the closest available stratum node that is able to fulfill the request. So that's basically what I was talking about earlier. It's gonna search for the closest node so you're able to get the information as quick as possible. It doesn't have to go all the way to like Germany if, if, it's in, if it's in Texas and you're sitting in Houston. So if it's in Dallas, you're in Houston, you don't wanna go across country or across the world to get your information. It just slows it down a, a, a lot. Development tools for the decentralized web. The Substratum network will provide an API and SDK for developing tools on the Substratum platform. This will bring in strong developer support and will accelerate the growth of the decentralized web on the Substratum network. So it seems that they are just trying to help, obviously help their network by helping the community and the developers that are gonna kind of build their network. Net neutrality. With the Substratum network, all websites and applications will have equal ability to be broadcast in, in, in an equal and fair manner. International digital barriers. So currently countries like China have strict regulations on what their citizens are able to interact with on the internet. 
This company will break down these barriers through a network of decentralized computers running the Substratum network software. And then finally, the high hosting costs. Substratum completely solves this problem through the power of cryptography or cryptocurrency by only charging for each request that is processed. Potential for generating revenue. Now, the Substratum white paper made this part so easy for me. This is usually the hardest part of my whole research, and they pretty much had it there. So first, you have the Substratum node. This is where network members that run the broadcast software will receive sub coins by serving requests. This increases global participation and will bring value to the coin. Next, we have the Substratum host. Businesses or entities that wish to host sites, databases, and applications on the Substratum network will use sub coins to pay the network members through a series of microtransactions for requests that those members serve up. Next is crypto pay. So they say in version two, which is early 2018, they will bring crypto pay, which will allow sites and applications that run on the network to process cryptocurrency transactions using any publicly traded coin. The Substratum coin will be the bridge currency, which will bring Im immense value to that coin. So basically in summary, through micro transaction, small fees will help this coin accumulate value and add equity to an investor's portfolio as they trade on the major exchanges. Next, and of course, as I always say, one of the most important parts is their team. So let's start with Justin Tab. He's a solution architect. He is the founder of Override Pro in 2004, which is the web development. Uh, it's a web development with high profile clients such as Apple, Disney, Facebook, HP, and even the NBA. The, this, he started as a web developer in 1999 and in 2001 worked as a senior software developer and has been with Override since 2004. I gave this guy a superstar just because it sounds like his company has worked with some big high profile companies and he has a lot of experience as you can see. Next is Abram Cookson. He's the lead software developer, extensive IT lead experience since 2007. He's been in the IT world since 2000. I gave him a star based off his experience. He didn't have any high profile companies, but his experience in 2000, that's 17 years experience. I have to give him a star for that. Next is Jason Woolham. He's a senior software engineer, started in 2001 in web development, became a senior engineer in 2011. He has a pretty good experience under his belt. Uh, he was also a web developer for American Express, and this is why I gave him the superstar, just because it seems he has a high profile uh, company that he worked for. So he has a superstar in my book. Next, we have Kevin Maris, Marolis. Not sure how to say his name. He's a senior software engineer, has over 30 years of software development experience, has worked for a bunch of companies. If you check on his LinkedIn, it's <laughs> he's so many companies. Uh, one that stands out to me is Sony. So with so many years of experience and at least one big name, he's getting a superstar from me. Finally, they have Christian Pope. He's the chief marketing officer. He's been in marketing for 25 years and has served as VP and also as an owner of his own company. He gets a star basically for his experience. Their white paper also talks about one more person on their team that isn't on their website. His name is Jason Burns. I don't know if he's still with the team or not. He's the design lead. I couldn't find him on LinkedIn either, but they state that he has over 10 years of experience in the design field. Their white paper also talks that they have a team of 22 developers, designers, architects, and project managers who have been together for 13 years. That is huge. That's just a huge close-knit family that you definitely want when you have a huge project like this. They also state that they, this family, I guess you would call them, have built projects for several Fortune 100 companies. So definitely a very solid team and one that you can trust that they should follow through just because of how close knit they are and, and the, the years of experience that they have. Now for the advisors, I actually had a hard time finding information about Luke Jenkins. I mean, here they post that he's John McAfee's personal ICO and market analyst. That doesn't give me a star or superstar to me. And Michael also wasn't didn't have any huge companies or anything big in my opinion. Again, this is just my opinion. So I didn't give either of their advisors any stars or superstars.
Now, Substratum's marketing. First, their Slack. Their Slack is most likely the most super active Slack I've ever seen. It is just booming, especially right now, because the coin is actually up. People are, it, that thing, I post something in there and I have to search for, for what I said just because there's just so many people talking. The Medium, they have a few articles, but it seems fairly outdated. All the articles were created in, in August. The Reddit uh, seems super active. Community is constantly responding to posts. That's super positive. Their Twitter, super active. Probably one of the most active Twitters I've seen. As you can see, they posted, they keep on posting about uh, the Binance vote, uh, but they're super active with updates, announcements, all kinds of things. I mean, October 2nd, you scroll down and we're still in October. It's crazy. They talk about their coin a lot. Some people actually see that as a negative. I don't really mind it too much. They're also super active on YouTube with updates and announcements. As you can see, four days, five days, six days, weeks, they have several videos explaining different things within their, their network, their ICO. Uh, they were burning, they had a burning token party, <laughs> which is obviously a positive thing when they're burning tokens. So yeah, they're, they're YouTube super active. And their Facebook is also super active with announcements and updates. What's posted on Twitter is also posted on Facebook. So now Substratum's market cap. Right now it's around 39 to 40 million market cap. They have 306 million circulating supply with 532 million total supply according to coinmarketcap.com. Currently they're around 13 cents, 3,000 sats. So they're not on any big exchanges, but the roadmap shows that they plan to target, or actually they already achieve costs I said that wrong, sorry. Liquid, sorry if I said that wrong again. <laughs> Binance, which they're currently in voting, as you can see from all their announcements, and their Slack is just blowing up with go vote for Binance. And Bitrix, this one, my favorite exchange. I hope they get on this. I'm excited if they do. So their competition, pretty much what I found was made safe coin with around 208 million market cap, and they recently reached 320 million market cap. So, I think this coin is actually better than made safe coin. So if they can surpass their all time high, that is huge gains and that's exciting. Finally, there's short slash long term goals. So late 2017, they're working to have the coin added to Binance, basically all those exchanges I just talked about. Then late 2017, early 2018, they call it version one. It's when they're going to set up their node. Uh, their developer toolkit for developers to write apps to run on the network, which will include fully encrypted database, web, and apps support, I believe. They're going to have Substratum Store and the Substratum DNS. This is late 2017, early 2018. So that's pretty exciting. That's super soon. Then you have early to mid 2018, what they call version two. You have Substratum Pay, which is that payment gateway. And then Substratin Bridge, which is the coin will be used to br as a bridge coin for all transactions that happened on their pay payment network. So in summary, Substratin definitely has the potential to do something great here. As of now, their competition, pretty much made safe coin, is seems pretty small, and they are doing a great job in keeping engaged with the community, which is super positive to me. With their very close-knit team and years of experience, they have the tools to succeed. Also, I personally plan on trying out one of their nodes when it comes online, as long as security seems safe. I know a few other friends that plan on doing that too that are invested in Substratin. So this may be something you want to look into also. So to me, this is definitely a company to keep an eye on, invest wisely, and do your research. So again, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. As you can see, their, their price actually went up already just while I was doing this video. Please do your research. If you like this or felt this was helpful at all, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. It really helps me. It gives me the motivation to do more. You can comment or message me on InvestFeed or Facebook. I enjoy all your feedback. Thank you. See you next time.